How you doing? How you doing? And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Petty, and I appreciate you stopping by today. We have a special one today. Oh, Lord. Do we have a special one? So I've had to play a little bit detective, so some of this was new to me. But as you can see behind this face, I was going to say pretty face, we're just not even going to walk down that road. Uh, we've got Bless Mobile. And that name might sound familiar to some of you guys. And to a lot of people, you might not. Because I had no idea about all of this. And I, I'm a gamer, okay? I pay attention to the gamer world. And none of this ever was on my radar before. Um, so seeing that this is now getting a mobile release. And it might be popping up on the radar of some of you guys. We wanted to go ahead and take a look at this. And talk about bless a little bit so <laughs> where to start we have so many tabs to look at <laughs> all right so and, and we'll we'll come back to bless mobile and take a look at the trailer and everything that was just released um this w week they just basically uh set it up so that you could start pre-registering for it and so it's at that time that you likely start seeing ads for the game start popping up. So we wanted to be a little proactive here. And before people start asking of us about this game, we're going to go ahead and let you know, dodge this. This is 100% a new scam coming to mobile. So <laughs> let's do a little bit of a history lesson before we watch all of this. Um, bless online was originally a pc mmo okay and on you know what scale you might be wondering well it's on the list of one of the most or you know the most expensive mmos to make um to give you a little bit of an idea of who it has for neighbors the original world of warcraft like the vanilla version not any of the um expansions or anything like that but just the base version of world of warcraft cost 63 63 million dollars to develop okay so that's a lot of money it's a lot of development money that's what went into bless okay so you would think that you know that's that, that's a lot of money where 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 did all where did it all go <laughs> So what happened with this game is, is sort of interesting. A um, couple of big notes right off the bat is it was launched in 2018 and then shut down in 2019. So within a year of its release, it shut down. Uh, let's talk about some of the pay to win because essentially what this looks like going through the history notes uh, was that this is one of the first iterations of MMO monetization typically of how we see them done on mobile MMOs now this was kind of the one of the early iterations of this but this was on a PC game a PC game that you had to buy that's that's a little nuts so I wonder why it wasn't so successful and fell on its face and died within a year um, and, and all of that alone wouldn't be enough to be like, okay, this is, this is just, uh, you know, scam company. It's a bad meme. Let's, let's start going through some things. <laughs> so there are a decent number of articles that you can kind of just pull up, uh, looking up bless through online or Google, uh, where there were a lot of issues, uh, especially around launch and everything, um, <clears throat> a lot of people were unhappy with seeing the monetization stuff that was in the game. Um, but there was also game breaking bugs and everything where people were able to exploit and get tons of gold. And then when they eventually even tried to fix that, they just basically gave another, uh, avenue for exploiting. So <laughs> the theme that you're going to see established kind of repeatedly here was that it was a very poorly managed game. It's not that it, you know, just didn't get, you know, the enough of a community behind it um, or enough exposure or anything like that, and that led to its early death. Um, but it, it was just whoever was uh, at the wheel was a sleeper drunk. That's the nicest way that we can kind of put it. 
Um, and they have another game that's coming out, Blessed Unleashed, which is more or less a console port for it. Um, they worked with Bandai, no, or yeah, uh, Bandai Namco, and it, if you're looking forward to that, that one looks pretty decent, and the beta testing from that is done okay. But this company has already completely shut down a game within a year of launching it. So if you're going to play the, you know, Unleashed version on Xbox, be a little careful, boo. I don't know if you should spend any money on that. In fact, you absolutely should not spend any money on that. Hell, make sure it's alive for a year. When it celebrates its one-year anniversary, now might be an okay time to spend 30 bucks. Don't you dare give them any more money than that. <laughs> people that introduced microtransaction MMOs or, M or microtransactions to MMOs <clears throat> and fell on their face for it kind of deserve that grave like they, they need to hold that L so don't let them try to pull off another scam on Xbox and get your money there um, because they put it together marginally better this time but given the history that we're going to see yeah, I mm, wouldn't have that hope. Wouldn't have that hope. So, <sighs> um, <sighs> trying to see where I wanted to. Uh, oh, you know what? There was a link in this that went into the uh, reviews for the Steam community. Um, so this one goes through. <laughs> is basically people talking on the Steam page for Bless Unleashed and discussing Blessed Online or Bless Online and how that whole kind of situation was going or went. Um, you know, all you can do at this state is or all you can do t uh, <laughs> all you can do this to warn people at this state. Bro, that grammar made me have a heart attack. All you can do at this point is warn people. <laughs> Um, since people behind the project are the same people that scammed the original buyers of Bless Failure without public ex or publicly accepting that they messed up and or reimbursed players who brought it into the first version. Um, one of the things that when they announced um, that the game was going to be shutting down, they didn't stop microtransactions. They didn't do any refunds or anything like that. What they did do is heavily discount things in the cash shop um, for people to buy until the game went under. So most people, most developers, when they announce that things are shutting down like that, they close those shops. They don't let people spend any more money in them. They don't reduce prices and have a, we're going out of business sale. Come buy everything while you can before it's literally pointless because it's gone. It's gone. They shut it all down. So... <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, some people accept that they are scammed. Um, just keep playing. Others are mad about the situation. Myself, I find it highly unacceptable to companies like this. Uh, one, getting away with this crap and actually make the plebs believe that there is a new company behind Bless Online and it will be different this time. Uh, essentially that, you know, hey, so <laughs> we've got Bless Online, then we've got Blessed Unleashed, and then we've also got Bless Mobile. So, hey, they're not one for just popping up a quick game to make a buck and, and keep it rolling. Um, from what it honestly seems like, uh, that first $60 million um, that they used to make the original game, uh, they're just trying to scavenge all that they can out of that corpse and use as much of it to try and slap some other games together um, as possible. So again, like the third different thing that is just ringing scam bells. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, <clears throat> so one of the other things that I wanted to take a look at before we went ahead and went back to Bless Mobile and watched the trailer on that one was take a look at some of the Steam reviews. Now, you can see how I have these sorted. It's just by most helpful, and it's going through all. It's not most positive, most negative. Just, just literally all. That's a lot of thumbs down, bro. That is a lot of thumbs. The, there's literally not a thumbs up one here, is there? 
Okay, so if you want to deepen yourself in this meme, as I'm probably going to do later and just read more of these, just because A, I enjoy history and this kind of falls under video game history in my opinion, and I'm surprised that I miss a, a game, a $60 million game that flopped this hard and had so many of its players screaming scam. I have no idea how that was never on my radar. But let's look at some of the ones I really like when, you know, okay, he's got 25 hours in the game. Chances are this dude just phrased things in a way that made people click that upvote button a whole lot. I want a little bit of experience. So our number one and our number three have 651 hours in it and 200 hours in it. Let's see what they have to say. I feel like these might be reasonable. Um, so I'm going to write this review because I feel like it's deserved. I hardly ever take the time to write reviews for games, either good or bad. I'll start off that despite all the negativity surrounding this game, I truly tried to be a supporter of Bless Online, and I gave it a good run. 600-some hours, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you gave it a good honest try. Um, I joined a guild, grinded high-level dungeons, explored the end-game content. There's parentheses around those, or question marks, or not question marks, quotation marks. American Public Schools, y'all. Thank them every day. Thank them every day. That's not a good sign. Uh, that was offered and showed up for PvP. I maxed out my character and really did give this game a fair shot. It's a mediocre Asian MMO with potential to get better. That is my honest review from a game perspective, and it's an okay way to kill time if you have nothing better to do. However, that's not why I'm writing this review. Red flags! I'm writing this review to warn people how terribly managed and ran this game is from a customer service perspective. They have this guy named Penta the Panther who RPs as a cat, I guess, as their uh, CM, our community manager, uh, making fun of people publicly in their Discord who are losing their characters slash accounts due to bugs and their errors on Neowit's end. After putting hundreds of hours into a mage to make it end game, uh, to make it to end game. Uh, and trying to defend this game when I can, <clears throat> you know what happens? My character magically disappears and is gone. This is apparently a common problem. I have confirmed that uh, this isn't an actual action against my account, but a mistake. Uh, the money I put into the Founders Pack, uh, the Lumena, Lumena, which I'm guessing is the paid currency for it, uh, that's character bound, the gear that I spent hundreds of hours grinding, just poof, gone, my account isn't banned, I didn't get any form of contact from the GMs or Neowit staff, uh, when I, when I DM this CM in Discord, he just memes people publicly and ignores his private messages, it would be nice to have a professional CM, yeah, yeah, we'll just skip the CM bitching at this point, I think that, that, that's pretty understandable. <clears throat> but, you know, fine. You know what? One bad and inappropriate employee it happens. I can look past that. However, here's the kicker. The customer service department of this game takes weeks to respond to people, even when Neowitz uh, accidentally deletes people's endgame characters that they have put tons of time, effort, and money into. Um, I had... I had to open one customer support uh, for an in-game issue that was an easy fix right after the game was launched. Time response, uh, basically the time it took for them to res uh, respond, about a month, so now I'm looking forward uh, to that wait to get my main character back. If you're looking for a good MMO experience, this isn't it. If you don't mind playing a full price uh, to alpha test a game for a company with terrible communi uh, community relations, even worse customer service, and bugs so bad they include your character just being deleted, well then go for it. Holy sh... That it is an insanely rough review. And I mean honest. I don't think this person is exaggerating or being over the top or trying to misrepresent things. This sounds like this was 100% their experience. And that is echoed a lot. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. That is echoed a lot all throughout. Boy. What do you mean there's no more content? There was just content. I swear. They know that we're doing the video, guys. They deleted it. They deleted it all. Yo. What? Hold up. Hold up. How? <laughs> Where did all the reviews go? Okay, I that's some weird bug on the uh, my end, I'm guessing. Okay, let's take a look at the other one that I that I thought was a really good one. 
Um, and again, does a pretty decent job of giving us the history lesson for those of us that aren't super familiar with it. Um, so after playing 205-ish uh, hours and reached what they have now deemed as endgame, I can make my final review. And the review is it's a piece of stuff. It's a piece of stuff, guys. Stinking pile of piece of stuff. Uh, this game fails on every conceivable aspect, both technical and logical. What was promised, this game started out fishy already uh, once the devs said that the game wouldn't be pay to win. Uh, they said they were reworking the game. They promised rhythmic combat, al combat along with some other um, bull stuff. Uh, what was actually implemented? All the game that isn't really pay to win for now, if you pay close attention, you can see it as having been made with that direction in mind. The core of the game is pay to win. The way your inventory is locked behind payment wall. Again, this is what I was talking about earlier with there being stuff in this um, that essentially is how we see monetization done for mobile MMOs. That's how they designed this one. This is essentially just a mobile MMO they accidentally released on PC, in my opinion. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> uh, the way that you can have a premium subscription on top of already having paid for the game, several currencies, typical for mobile uh, pay-to-win games. Uh, now for the game, at this state, isn't pay-to-win, but I would go to assume that it's because they uh, very well know that it would be, that if it would be a full pay-to-win, the rage from its player base uh, would have been exponentially larger, enough to shut the game down on the first week. Um, what I am assuming is that they are trying the Black Desert Online approach, which is they release the game, set up a fairly decent community, and then go play to pay to win. The problem is that they already unveiled some of the co uh, concerns uh, from players with their shady pre-release packages costing upwards of $150 and having a premium service on top of that. Whoa. So trust is already somewhat broken. Oh, Jesus. I, I think you guys basically get the message. Um, and I'm go ahead and you can look up uh, Bless Online uh, Steam reviews and you can find these pages and read through all these. They're super, super interesting. Um, and it, it just goes on to <laughs> detail, detail how this game was mismanaged and how scammed the players felt for playing it and spending their time. So, that brings us back to Bless Mobile <sighs> is a thing. And guys, it's coming this year. And let's let's go ahead and take a look. And we might pause this throughout and talk a little bit of smack. We'll we'll see. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm feeling the the pettiness right now. So, All right. Some, some rendered video, some rendered video. Going to go ahead and stop it right there. So, uh, you know, as a like normal human being, you've got pattern recognition, right? So follow me here. You've seen what poisonous snakes looks like. They have that very distinct coloring and you see that and you recognize it and you go like, oh, that's probably a poisonous snake. Poisonous snakes look like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm seeing some poisonous snake stuff here already already so if, if you remember when we looked at v4 or if you go and look at a3 which i don't even think we covered on this one um or a couple of those other mobile mmos there's a certain way that all of their trailers seem to look where you have a lot of fanciful fanciful rendering and i, I highly doubt we're gonna see much game footage here but let's let let's keep going because I'm already getting those feels of like oh here's something rendered that's going to look ten times better than the game oh here yeah there's 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 the money shot Th doesn't this world look cool guys don't you want to explore this world isn't it almost like this was designed to look enticing oh man that's crazy that's nuts right oh look at that stuff that looks really cool. Another thing that I'm already noticing is with mobile MMOs, you'll have kind of these placemats that you're auto running around on top of, and really quick they become pointless because you just, you don't pay any actual mind to them, and they're not actually impactful in the world. It's just, it's just art you're running over top of. Super shallow is my point here. But okay, okay. More rendered cutscenes. More rendered cutscenes. 
All right. Oh, those those almost look like character models. Oh, they do. They do. And they, that's not even better than what like V4 and stuff has for models right now. And those are those models loaded up in a, you know, actual video for a good render. How they're actually going to look on phones and everything is a more potatoy version of this. But we we can already see that I don't know if it's the same like unreal like framework that every single one of these companies is using or just how the unreal system itself works and how they're able to put together games in it. I I have no idea, but every every Unreal mobile MMO so far has damn near felt copy and pasted and it sucks Because you guys could do so much more within this category than this auto run scamming It's it's just bad <laughs> But let's keep going. Let's keep going. So <clears throat> All right, so they they paid the mount guys pretty well. They're definitely gonna try and make some money off those mounts That looks like some auto gathering resources to me yeah, so here here we go with auto running on on sad pieces. If this game didn't have or this company didn't have the history behind it that they do, I would find this rather unassuming that there was the normal scamminess that you see in teaser trailers where it's just a bunch of rendered stuff, but all the history that this one comes with I'm I just I don't like it guys. I don't like it. I don't got a good feeling about this one. As far as teasers go, it looks pretty. Oop, giant mech battles, bro. Alright, JK, wipe the whole last 20 minutes. I'm on board now. Let's do it. I am here for medieval fantasy mech battles. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. All right, I'm actually gonna write them in for president. That's right, we're gonna steal the election this time for these guys. Bless mobile for president, y'all. <laughs> hundred dollars say that. that <laughs> Maybe those big robot guys will be in a background thing, but I highly doubt uh, they, you will ever be engaged with them as content. So yeah, that's Bless Mobile, guys. So before you ask me about it or say, Patty, have you heard about this one yet? Yes. Yes. And we're already watching out for the scam. I cannot wait to make more memes about this. So I hope we get this soon. I hope it comes out real, real soon and we can get a, uh, a good couple of licks in. But all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate them faces. Maybe we'll have figured out the end card thing this time. But all right, you have to catch your boy in the next one because uh, we're out of here. Deuces.